In this episode of Botched Cataract Surgery, we're going to be covering posterior capsule rupture. Specifically, we're going to answer three questions. What is it? Can I still get my premium lens implant? And how is it managed? So if you had cataract surgery and suffer from this complication, then this is a video for you. Cataract surgery goes incredibly well 99% of the time. We spend countless hours preparing for the surgery so that everything goes to plan. But just like life, not everything goes as we expect 100% of the time. And that's why cataract patients need an experienced surgeon that can manage the unexpected. And posterior capsule rupture is one of these rare complications. Patients with this complication often present to me for a second opinion consultation after experiencing this complication by another surgeon elsewhere. With my fellowship training in medical retina, I'm uniquely qualified to address this problem. How does this happen and how do we fix it? Let's review our eye anatomy to understand capsule rupture during cataract surgery. Here I'm going to draw a raw diagram side view of the eye so we can identify the structure and anatomy to better understand this complication. Let's color code it here. The front of the eye or the cornea will put on the top, the iris here, and the cataract is the lens in the center of the eye suspended by ligaments called zonules. We access the cataract by opening the anterior or top portion of the capsule with forceps. Next, the cataract is broken up into smaller pieces which can then be removed. There's a thin 2-4 to four micrometer posterior capsule that we leave intact during surgery. However, if this capsule is weak or if it breaks during the cataract surgery, then there's no longer any barrier to separate the anterior and posterior segments of the eye. Here's the problem. One, pieces of cataract fragments can fall to the back of the eye near the retina. Two, the clear vitreous or jello substance in the center of the eye can pull forward, and as it does this, it can rip or tear the retina in the process, causing a detachment. And finally three, once the capsule is broken, there's compromised structural support, and a new lens implant can easily dislocate and fall to the back of the eye. What are the chances of this event? Well, it, it really depends on the specific situation. The health of the eye, certain factors such as previous retina surgery, intravitreal injections, trauma may put a patient at high risk. Also, surgical skill and experience can play a role in this as well. Some surgeons just have a higher complication rate of posterior capsule rupture than others. If we look at studies, it is reported in about 1-3% to of cataract surgeries. In 2018, the Massachusetts Eye and Ear Comprehensive Ophthalmology and Cataract Consultation Service at Harvard reported their rates at 1.7%. Let's move on to the next question. Can I still get my toric or multifocal lens implant when this complication occurs? Well, the answer to this is usually no, but there may be exceptions, which I'll explain. Typically, once the poster capsule is broken, there's no more structure support to put a lens implant into the capsule bag. The toric lens and multifocal lens can very easily dislocate or even fall to the back of the eye without proper posterior capsule support. To avoid the problem of lack of capsule support, we can place a three-piece lens in the sulcus with optic capture. The sulcus is a small pocket of space between the capsule and the iris. In optic capture, we anchor the haptic arms of the lens implant into the sulcus and secure the center lens optic through the anterior capsule. Once secured with optic capture, the entire lens complex is unlikely to decenter and dislocate. Two years ago, Dr. Gimbel expanded on the optic capture technique and devised a toric haptic tuck for reverse optic capture. What this means is, that as long as there is an appropriate sized and centered anterior capsular rexus, some surgical acrobatics in the right setting can allow your surgeon to implant a toric or multifocal lens implant. There have been other methods described, such as Dr. Kanabrava's four flange technique where suture is passed directly through the lens implant and anchored into the sclera. However, future studies are still needed to determine whether there is enough long-term stability of these techniques. And finally, the last question, how to manage the capsule rupture? 
Fortunately, the preparation and anticipation of a capsule rupture by an experienced surgeon can make the capsule rupture a manageable complication during surgery. Currently in 2021, the surgical management of capsular rupture begins by removal as much of the cataract fragments as can be done safely without damaging the retina. And any vitreous that shifts to the front of the eye is also removed by anterior vitrectomy. This is done as carefully as possible to reduce vitreoretinal traction and posterior drop of cataract fragments. Then, once the anterior structures are clear, a new intraocular lens implant is placed either in the sulcus with optic capture or in the capsular bag if there's still enough support. For cases where the capsule has been compromised to a larger degree and a sulcus lens cannot be safely placed, then an anterior lens implant in front of the iris or a posterior lens implant behind the iris can be used. My own preferred method for posterior lens implantation is using the Yamani technique with intrascleral haptic fixation. The Yamani technique secures the haptic arms of the lens implant to the inside sclera of the eye without sutures. I'll have another video on this later. After surgery, patients that have capsule rupture are watched very, very closely as there's an increased risk for slow visual recovery, corneal or macular swelling, glaucoma, retinal detachment, and infection. If pieces of cataract fall posterior towards the retina, then a secondary surgery with a vitreal retinal surgeon will need to be coordinated. We'll be covering lens exchange and secondary intraocular lens implantation in a future video in this botched cataract surgery series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.